There are two types of VNAV descents, path and speed. Each descent is flown differently, but the FMC uses the same descent profile with a speed or path descent. In a path descent, the FMC controls pitch to stay on the descent profile. You must monitor and adjust the speed. In a speed descent, the FMC controls pitch to stay at a target airspeed. You must monitor and adjust the descent to stay on the desired descent profile. Let's see how the descent profile is calculated. The FMC starts with the end of descent point. The FMC then calculates a path for approach speed reductions and flap extensions. Before the approach, the FMC assumes descent with idle thrust, flaps and gear up and speed breakdown. The FMC makes a top of descent point where the descent profile and cruise altitude come together. The FMC adjusts the descent profile for speed reduction at the airport speed restriction altitude. This moves the top of descent back and shortens the cruise phase. The FMC adjusts the descent profile for waypoint speed or altitude constraints. This moves the top of descent back and shortens the cruise phase again. Winds and temperatures also change the descent profile. When you put in forecast winds, the FMC adjusts the top of descent. The FMC uses all of these to calculate the top of descent point. The result is the most economical descent for the route and weather. The end of descent is near the destination airport or near the destination runway. If you do not put in an approach, the FMC assumes a straight line between the last waypoint on the flight plan and reference airport or runway. If you select an arrival or approach, the end of descent point is the last waypoint in the descent with an altitude constraint. You are 50 miles from top of descent. Show the descent page. Show the descent forecast page. You put in forecast ISA deviation, QNH, and winds for up to three altitudes on this page. Put in the ISA deviation and QNH. You can put in up to three winds in any sequence. Put in the wind for flight level 210. For this example, put the wind on the first wind line. Put in the wind for 15,000 feet. For this example, put the wind on the second wind line. Execute the modification. Show the cruise page. The distance to the top of descent changes. A path descent is the most economical descent. During a path descent, the FMC controls pitch to stay on the path. You possibly have to use thrust or the speed brake to keep the airspeed you want. Usually, to make a path descent, you should also engage LNAV. If you do not engage LNAV, you must be near the LNAV path. Five miles from top of descent, the FMC scratch pad message Reset MCP Altitude shows. Reset the MCP Altitude. The FMC automatically commands a descent when you pass the top of descent point. The descent page shows automatically.
The FMC commands idle thrust. The pitch mode stays VNAV path and the FMC controls pitch to stay on the path. The speed restriction line shows the airport speed restriction for your destination. You can put in a different speed and altitude restriction. Green circles on the navigation display map mode show where the deceleration segment starts and stops. When you are near the airport speed restriction altitude, the descent path angle decreases. The FMC commands higher pitch and the airplane slows. As speed decreases below the speed restriction, the FMC commands lower pitch to descend below the airport speed restriction altitude. The FMC commands a speed 10 knots lower than the airport speed restriction. In this example, the airport speed restriction is 250 knots below 10,000 feet. The FMC commands 240 knots. This gives a buffer for small airspeed changes. Information about the next waypoint with an altitude constraint shows here. If there is a waypoint with an altitude constraint, the path will come to the altitude at the waypoint. After the waypoint, the path is level. When the airplane comes to the next idle thrust path, the FMC commands idle thrust and lower pitch to follow the path. When you are close to the destination airport, the FMC commands flaps up maneuvering speed. Set flaps 1. When you extend flaps, the FMC commands speeds for the flap positions and your weight. If you do an ILS approach, VNAV disconnects at glide slope capture and the MCP speed display opens. Next, we will do the same descent using speed descent mode. You are level at cruise, near top of descent. Show the descent page. The FMC defaults to a path descent. If a speed descent is necessary, you usually have to select it. But if there is no altitude constraint at a waypoint in the descent, a path descent is not available. In this example, a path descent is available. Push the line select key adjacent to speed. Execute the modification. The speed descent page shows. Although the speed and path descent pages look mostly the same, the descents are very different. Recall that a path descent is the most economical descent. A speed descent is more flexible than a path descent. During a speed descent, the FMC controls pitch to stay at a target airspeed. The FMC does not try to stay on the path. Thus, a speed descent is less economical. You will possibly have to use the speed brake or thrust to stay on the path you want. You can stay on the VNAV path or a different path. You can engage other roll modes during a speed descent. You do not need to be near the LNAV path. Reset the MCP altitude for descent. In this example, with no altitude constraints, the FMC automatically commands a speed descent when you pass the top of descent. The FMC commands idle thrust. The pitch mode changes to VNAV speed. 
and the FMC controls pitch to stay at the target airspeed. Remember, you are responsible to stay on the path. When you are near the airport speed restriction altitude, the FMC commands higher pitch and the airplane slows. The pitch mode temporarily changes to VNAV path as the FMC controls pitch to stay on a path above the airport speed restriction altitude. In this example, the airplane is below the VNAV path. The FMC does not try to go back to the path. As speed decreases below the speed restriction, the FMC commands lower pitch to descend below the airport speed restriction altitude. There is a waypoint with an altitude constraint. Recall that in a path descent, the FMC commands level flight after reaching the waypoint. During a speed descent, the FMC will make sure you make the altitude constraint. Then the airplane will continue to descend to the next altitude constraint. At the altitude constraint, the FMC commands level flight until you pass the waypoint. The FMC temporarily increases thrust to keep the target speed. The pitch mode temporarily changes to VNAV path. The FMC commands slower speeds for the approach and flap extensions, the same as a path descent. If you do an ILS approach, VNAV disconnects at glide slope capture and the MCP speed display opens. ATC asks you to descend before the FMC calculated top of descent point. Reset the MCP altitude. Show the descent page. A path descent is planned. Push the line select key adjacent to descend now. Execute the modification. The FMC commands a 1000 feet per minute descent. Until you come to the VNAV descent path, then the FMC commands idle thrust and pitch to follow the path. Next, let's do an early descent using VNAV speed. I reset the MCP. Before you do the early descent, change to a speed descent. Start the early descent. Execute the modification. The FMC commands an idle thrust descent at the target airspeed. The FMC does not try to go to the VNAV path. If you put in accurate descent forecast data, the vertical deviation is usually near zero and the airspeed is near the target. The wind can be different than the forecast wind you put in the FMC. In this example, the tailwind is more than the wind you put in the FMC. During a path descent, the FMC commands pitch to keep the path. But the airspeed will be higher than the target. You can use the speed brake to add drag and decrease airspeed to the target. If you let speed increase to 10 knots or more than the target, the FMC shows the scratch pad message, Drag Required.
You are below the airport speed restriction altitude. If you do not use the speed brake when the drag required message shows, VNAV disconnects when the airspeed is more than 5 knots above the airport speed restriction. The FMC shows the scratch pad message, overspeed disconnect. Let's look at the same conditions for a VNAV speed descent. During a VNAV speed descent, the FMC commands pitch to keep the target airspeed. The tailwind moves the airplane above the VNAV path. Use the speed brake if you want to go back to the VNAV path. In this example, you are near a waypoint with an altitude constraint during a VNAV speed descent. If you let the airplane go above the VNAV path, the FMC shows the scratch pad message, unable next altitude. You cannot make the altitude constraint at this rate of descent. In the next example, the headwind is more than the wind you put in the FMC. During a path descent, the FMC commands pitch to keep the path. But the airspeed will be lower than the target. You can use the thrust to increase airspeed to the target. If airspeed decreases to 10 knots or more below the target, the FMC commands more thrust to increase airspeed to the target. During a VNAV speed descent, the FMC commands pitch to keep the target airspeed. The headwind moves the airplane below the VNAV path. Use thrust if you want to go back to the VNAV path. The FMC calculates a new descent path and top of descent when you do a modification. Put in all known descent and approach data before you start descent. For example, if you change the target speed on the descent page, the FMC calculates a new VNAV path. A slower descent speed moves the top of descent closer to you. You are on the path. Put in the new descent speed. The FMC calculates a modified path. Execute the When you execute, the vertical deviation changes suddenly. You are on the path again. Resume normal speed by selecting the Econ prompt. The path changes again. The waypoint restriction line shows the next waypoint with an altitude constraint. You can delete an altitude constraint here or on the legs page. Use the descent page to delete the constraint at Diné. The FMC calculates a new path. VNAV path and VNAV speed descents do path corrections very differently. If you are below the path in a path descent, the FMC commands less pitch to decrease the descent rate. The FMC commands more thrust to keep the target speed.
You are above the path in a path descent. The FMC pitches down to get back to the path. And the airspeed increases. When this occurs, the airspeed can go to VMO. Use the speed brake to decrease airspeed. In a speed descent, the FMC does not try to stay on the path. If you want, use the speed brake or thrust to stay on the path. But, if you are below the path and there is a waypoint with an altitude constraint, the FMC commands level flight at the constraint altitude. The descent continues after you pass the waypoint. You are not at top of descent. Start a VNAV path descent now. The tailwind is more than forecast. Do the applicable procedure. Use VNAV to change the descent speed. Use the descent page to delete the altitude constraint at Euphreda. Show the descent forecast page. Put in the ISA deviation and Q&H. Put the descent wind on the first wind line. Complete the change. Set the FMC for a VNAV speed descent. Use the speed pr Reset the MCP for descent. Correct to the VNAV path. 